7, we're getting our first glimpse at Mayor Joe Hogsett's plans for the 2023 budget. This includes more than a billion dollars in investments around our city and no new local taxes for Indianapolis residents. We've got Rachel Krauss joining us live outside the city county building. That's where the mayor introduced that proposal just a few hours ago. Rachel. Yeah, the mayor's proposed budget has four main focuses for funding, education, combating violence, property tax relief, and improvements to infrastructure. So let's break it down. Uh, thank you, Mr. President, members of council. A big part of the budget proposal focuses on hefty investments in public safety. The city's sticking to its plan, investing $150 million in anti-violence efforts over the next few years. That money is broken down into three lanes community investment, police investment, and addressing root causes of violence. For the community, it means $15 million in violence reduction grants each year. For the police, it means raising starting pay and a sign-on bonus for new officers to fill 200 unfilled positions and hiring another 1,800 proposed by the mayor. Course. IMPD Chief Randall Taylor says it's a substantial investment. I mean, we're all still fighting for the same recruits. Uh, uh, so it may not be the end all uh, to be all to be all the end all. However, I, I do believe with that souring those bonuses and, and the opportunities the IMPD has to offer uh, officers, I, I think it's definitely moving in the right direction. I think it'll help us out. The budget would also establish an emergency response team made entirely of mental health experts who are on the clock 24 hours a day. The mayor says it's a needed addition to the city's existing mobile crisis assistance team. And that means continuing to make investment in our response to mental illness and addiction. And when it comes to fighting inflation, the budget proposal includes a property tax credit for Marion County homeowners, offering relief for 90% of homeowners. For those with an assessed value of up to $250,000, you'd get a $150 tax credit. Anything higher than that, up to $400,000, gets you a $100 tax credit. And to help Indy residents on the roads, the mayor's budget includes plans to invest $1.1 billion in transportation over the next five years, including $849 million for streets, bridges, trails, and sidewalks. The biggest chunk, $387 million, is focused on roads, including the roughest residential roads. So those dollars are going to the worst residential streets. Mayor Hogsett says this is a balanced budget that can strengthen the city's already strong economy. But it's not enough. We must continue to build on it. So I leave you tonight by saying, let's get back to work. I thank you. Another funding proposal in the mayor's budget will go toward education, providing additional grant funding to the Indy Achieves program, which would go toward getting adults back into post-secondary education and a $1 million investment into the Circle City Readers program, which will help young children with reading and tutoring. Scott. All right, we'll be following that. Rachel, thanks so much. Now, when it comes to reducing crime, we've already seen portions of our city's three-year plan put into action and the latest numbers that we're getting from police on shootings and murders show that we are seeing improvement from last year. In fact, let me show you. We've had 124 murders so far this year. This time last year, we are all the way up to 154. And it is a similar story with non-deadly shootings. Last year, we had 398. This year, it's down to 360. Now, of course, any case of violence is one too many. So whether these proposals are lasting long-term solutions remains to be seen. Roads are the other big funding concern for a lot of people. So we wanted to know if the money proposed for the 2023 budget is enough to make a difference. The city actually hired a team to study our roads and the results, while not surprising, revealed that most streets are not in good shape. The report said Indy needs $235 million to improve major roadways, but add in residential streets and sidewalks and you're looking at more than a billion dollars with a B. We know Mayor Hogsett proposed about $1.1 billion for all infrastructure improvements, which seems on track to match that goal. But you have to remember that money also goes to bridges and trails. So it's possible there might not be enough to cover all the needed fixes. You can read the road study report and the breakdown of today's budget proposal at WTHR.com.